In the realm of artistic expression, Wrestlers, stands as Thomas Eakins's final genre painting, his ultimate exploration of the male nude, and his conclusive venture into sporting themes. When examined within the trajectory of Eakins's career, starting from his early studies of the figure as a student to his inaugural rowing depictions in 1870, Wrestlers, emerges as a profound summation of the most consequential themes that defined his artistic journey. Acknowledged as one of the preeminent realists in American painting during the 19th century, alongside Winslow Homer, Eakins carved a niche distinct from Homer's rural focus. While Homer delved into rural themes and the inherent connection between humanity and nature, Eakins devoted his canvas to portraying people. Despite his reputation as a portrait painter renowned for psychological depth, Eakins's primary focus remained on the human body, the embodiment of individuals in their physical reality. Notably, Eakins played a pivotal role as an influential academic teacher, advocating for the study of anatomy and the utilization of live models for drawing. As the first American artist to base his art on meticulous analysis of the body, Eakins became the progenitor of a realist tradition extending from him through artists such as Robert Henry, the Ashgan School, Reginald Marsh, Fairfield Porter, and Philip Perlstein. Returning to his hometown of Philadelphia in 1870 after training with Jean-Leon Jerome at the Écoles des Beaux-Arts in Paris, Eakins shifted his focus to subjects that conveyed and celebrated the character of his native city. While predominantly portraiture, many of his works depicted friends and family engaged in diverse activities. Art historian Elizabeth Johns observed that Eakins aimed to capture and extol the heroism of modern life, akin to the avant-garde Impressionists' contribution to French painting and culture. Simultaneously, Eakins sought to restore Philadelphia to a central position in the ongoing cultural life of post-Civil War America. Eakins's role as a teacher at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts marked a significant chapter in his career. Infusing new rigor into the curriculum of the oldest art school in the country, he increasingly concentrated on the male figure, exploring ways to depict the male nude within contemporary or historical contexts. In 1898, Eakins embarked on a series of paintings depicting sporting scenes, with a specific focus on interior sports such as boxing and wrestling. The genesis of Wrestlers involved Eakins having two athletes wrestle for him meticulously determining the most captivating position. Collaborating with his friend Clarence Cranmer, a journalist, and athlete Joseph McCann and another unnamed participant, Eakins orchestrated a photographic session in May 1899 to capture the action. The chosen pose, described by Cranmer as, the winning position, with a half-Nelson and crotch hold, became the focal point. After an initial unfinished version, Eakins produced a small sketch for the entire composition, a piece that has resided in the collection of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, LACMA, for decades. The evolution from the sketch to the final work marked a departure into a more intricate direction. While the early, unfinished version primarily presented a complex study of bodies in motion, the final iteration of, Wrestlers, transcended this scope. It evolved into a poignant commentary on the process of learning art, embodying Eakins's philosophy as both a teacher and artist. In the left background, an athlete exercises on a rowing machine, preparing for the impending contest. To the right, a coach and student are portrayed, their presence distilled to legs and the coach's right hand pointing to the pose adopted by the wrestlers. Eakins possibly conveyed that mastering the art of wrestling involves preparing the body physically and instructing the mind, emphasizing the symbiosis of mind and body. Prominently inscribed on the wall beside the coach's hand are Eakins's signature and the date, underscoring the connection between the artist and the scene depicted. Both the artist and the coach serve as elucidators of the process through which a student learns their craft. Eakins posits that the crux of artistic learning lies in the adept depiction of the human body in action, a fusion of anatomist and artist.
This philosophy firmly places Eakins within the academic tradition, setting him apart from his American contemporaries. While, wrestlers, may be perceived as deeply conservative in some aspects, its essential modernity manifests in subtle nuances. The abrupt excision of the coach and students' bodies by the picture frame, leaving only their legs and lower torso, introduces a dynamic element. Similarly, the peculiar space charted by the rope on the floor defies conventional lines, presenting a discontinuous, non-angled form. Eakins's deliberate contrasts of clothed and unclothed, wrinkled and taut flesh in the wrestler's figures suggest a studied artificiality, revealing his meticulous reconsideration of observed elements. Eakins's profound conviction that the human being is the central concern of painting, comprised equally of mind and body, rendered him influential to his successors. Wrestlers, encapsulates Eakins's final statement on the subject, a testament to a lifetime dedicated to teaching and painting while grappling with the complexities of representation and embodiment. In this context, the painting also emerges as a spiritual self-portrait of a frustrated artist approaching the twilight of his career. While the focus on two nude figures underscores Eakins's academic training, emphasizing the elevated human body in its most perfect state, the unconventional composition suggests a deeper intent beyond a literal representation of a bourgeois spectator entertainment. Eakins's best and most modern late paintings, including, wrestlers, compel viewers to revisit and contemplate the presented narrative repeatedly. The intentional discomfort experienced by the viewer mirrors Eakins's own tumultuous life, marked by personal, familial, and professional challenges. The unresolved issues within, wrestlers, echo the unresolved facets of Eakins's life, creating an enigmatic and introspective masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of traditional artistic representation.